Hi everyone, it's Helen here and welcome to the Craft Stash Homemade Christmas YouTube Hop. Today we are going to be releasing a whole bunch of videos throughout the day, giving you loads of inspiration on your homemade Christmas. So all the links will be down below and by the end of the day all of the links will be complete. So. Everything that I'm showing you today has 40% of the product that I'm using and if you are a VIP, which is $9.99 a year, you will get 10% off that as well. So it's excellent. Right, so what we're going to be making today, we're going to be making these picnic hampers, but we're not going to be making them this size. We're going to be making them in the miniature version. Right, so these are, this is the loaf tin. Let's just quickly run through what I've got here first. So we have the loaf tin here, which was from my very first release, and that is what it makes. And if you team that with the picnic basket additions, you can make this beautiful picnic basket here. And I've used my digital papers as well. And we have now the miniature version to go with it. So it's basically these two sets shrunk down so it all fits in one go through the machine which is fantastic and the miniature version of this is gonna look so cute okay so I'm gonna be using a an A4 size machine to run this all through at the same time however this will all fit through individually on a standard big shot if you have one just a standard platform so let's grab some card I've got all of my papers printed out ready to go I will leave my printable uh, my preferable printable papers down in the description box that was a mouthful so we're gonna pop that on there going to have the lid here and I want to do the handle as well. Now the great thing about this set is it, it comes with the mats as well. Big thumbs up. I had to make sure I had that there. Run that through. Okay so I've got a numerous things die cut out now and I have enough here to line the inside and the outside of the tin so if you wanted to just stop right here and just make the tin don't worry about this bit you can do and it's going to make a beautiful little uh, loaf tin just like that so you can make a miniature version of that right let's get these glued down Okay, so I've got all the mats down now and I've got them on both sides. So I can actually choose now which side I would like to do, but I'm going to be the opposite to this one. So let's fold everything around and I want these tabs to be glued on the outside because they're quite decorative, just like that. So let's add our glue now to the inside of these curvy tabs. Now everything that I'm using today is listed down below. Okay, so now we need to get this handle on before we get the, the lid on. So grab yourself a bone folder. And this does have a, a slight stitch detail to that so and then just curl that so it curves and then we're going to pop that in the middle but I do need to make sure that I get the handle right in the center so I'm just going to pop this directly over everything and I can line it up just by popping that on so I know exactly where the middle section is and then I can just quickly take a pencil and just make a little mark here and a little mark here and then I can rub that out but to be honest it's going to be covered anyway with all of the bits and bobs that we're going to be popping on there so let's get that on next now you can pop it on the inside or the outside and if you want to use brads you can make some holes as well on there and uh, so that you can make a little uh, handle that moves about so before that glue dries just make sure you're happy that it's straight 
and in the right place I mean that is a lovely basket just as it is now fill that with your sweets put them in a cellophane bag this is going to be perfect for little cookies in a row as well there's so many different things that you can pop in here and because this is tiny it's adorable and we all like adorable so they always make the perfect uh, gifts right so add glue now to these tabs here and then we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before when we lined everything up pop that through these are going to go on the inside and then the other tabs for the time being are going to go on the outside because that's what's going to help us line everything up again and get everything central so as you can see that's all lined up that went on the inside sorry the outside oh, I'll fix the handle in a minute there we go right that's all lined up I'm happy with that alignment and then press that together add some more glue re-stick that handle and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that all to dry out properly and then we'll come back for the next stage but in the meantime we can be working on these funny little things now these are going to make our bows so ink them if you want to this is just ordinary craft cardstock so I'm going to curve these before I start trying to bend them round this is going to prevent creases as you try to um, assemble this together so I'm just going to add a bit of glue just there overlap those and hold them into place so you've got a nice little ring same on this one we'll do two at the same time okay now we're going to add a little bit of glue just to the inside just there there we go and then press that down hold it in place and then you can kind of squish these up to open them up again make them all nice and curvy same for this one the more glue you add the longer it will take to dry but obviously use enough glue so that it's good enough for sticking okay and if you find that this is too long we're going to fold this over but if you find that it's too long you can just um, trim off any excess mine seems to be okay it's different for me every single time it all depends on how you fold this up around it's always good to fold it though first before you actually add the glue okay we're almost done with these bows just turned on my hot glue gun because that is our next stage right so those are cute tiny little bows how lovely are those pop them on there you can pop them on here oh, imagine making a red riding hood uh, basket that would be so cute let's trim up these now so cut them in half gonna add glue if you want to wait for your hot glue gun to heat up uh, that will be a quicker way of doing this add glue to this one there we go beautiful if you can imagine these made out of glitter cardstock as well that would be lovely you can make some lovely red glittery bows okay so I'm just ready for the next stage now I have some foliage here from um, you can get them from loads of places that sell decorations and I've just done a long line of glue across the top advisable to have the um, the lids open for this or otherwise you might glue those lids closed and that would not be fun 
trying to get your goodies inside, especially if you've already put the goodies in. I've got my coins just here ready to go. Okay, I've got my old pair of Tim Holtz's scissors. This is wire on the inside, so I can just cut that using my old ones. I have new ones, but those are my old ones for messy pet, messy projects and things. Right, so that is glued on. Isn't that looking so festive? Okay, let's pop these bows on either side. Okay, there we go. That looks stunning with it. These lids just partially open like that. Right, let's fill this with treats. Put the gold in this side. It's going to be a bit full. Might be easier if you took it out of the, uh, take it out of the, the net baggings there. Okay, that is pretty heavy. Right, that is the miniature version of the larger version. I absolutely love these. Aren't they so pretty? I'm definitely going to have these on display this year. I'm going to put goodies inside them as well. So if anyone just happens to open one, they get to have a treat. An unexpected one. Okay, so here is the loaf tin made from the small, the, the bigger one. And I haven't finished this one off yet, but this is the little loaf tin as well. I'll probably have to make a miniature one from here. So let's go through all the products again that are in the 40% off sale. Made a mess of this, look. So this is the mini picnic basket die that makes this one and this one. And then we have the larger one, which is the loaf tin, the lid that creates the picnic basket. And also as a bundle, you can get it with the woven um, A A4 um, embossing folder as well. And that will give you this lovely basket weave pattern. So this is back in stock and so I'm really pleased about that and that is all available as a bundle okay so don't forget to join um all of the other um people in the hop today they're gonna have they're gonna have loads of festive inspiration for you guys those will all be linked down below as well as all the products here that I have used and don't forget to sign up for the craft stash newsletter so that you can get the daily deal of the day every single day there's a deal of the day so if you want to see what it is that's the only way that you can get to have a look at it and that is the newsletter and you can sign up for that and um on the craft stash website and don't forget as well you get your 10 percent off if you are a vip on top of your 40 percent discount so that is absolutely wonderful so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this one and i'll see you again soon